Yo, and welcome back to the channel. I am continuing Cowboy Bebop. This is episode 13 titled Jupiter Jazz Part 2. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen here. Characters being in some very dicey situations. Spike seemingly got shot. What's going on with Faye and Jet? Vicious is back. It's just, yeah, a lot is going on and I am just ready to dive back into it. But before I do, I'm going to ask you guys to please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, all that good stuff. And then something that for some reason I forgot to say in the last reaction, and I think even in the one uh, before that as well, consider becoming a patron of ours. Or at least just check out the Patreon page <laughs> where you can watch uh, full length uncut versions and just watch the whole thing with me, sync it up to your own copy of the episode. There's also early cut down reactions um, and just with both of the full length and, and the early cut down ones, I am several episodes ahead. So I'm going to tell you just how far ahead I am in a pinned comment down below. Um, any support is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. It really helps, um, you know, keep going with the channel and uh, makes it makes all of this possible. Uh, so the people who are supporting us on Patreon um, couldn't do this without you guys. And if you want to become a patron, then yeah, check it out. Links down in the description below and also in that pinned comment for sure. But anywho, let's do this. Episode 13, Jupiter Jazz, part two. Here we go. Ah, okay. Damn. Oh. So that thing belonged to Vicious. You can have it. <laughs> Jesus, why the fuck? Oh, okay. Um, thank, thank you. Hmm. Okay. I was actually thinking about that too. なんでビシャスと会うの? <laughs> に年前に突然現れて一月もしないで姿を消した。どんな女だった? <笑> <laughs> no, you're not. Where did he hit him? Thanks. Oh, I just hit him with a tranquilizer, so didn't even mean to kill him. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> what? Nothing to do with foreigners from now on. <laughs> Scared him straight. It's gonna be Faye in there. Tied up. <laughs> One of those kinds of guys. <laughs> そんなんじゃないわよ。例のコードネームジュリアの男だぜ。グレンティアロだ。せさ脱獄囚でな。結構な賞金がかかってる。そいつを捕まえたら戻ってきてもいいぞ。ねえ。ジュリアって何なの?
the extent of his knowledge. Just Julia. Julia connected to Spike somehow. What? What are you? Ed, what are you? Why are you? That kid is so fucking random. Okibono Titan Opalis. Gurenni Yoroshikut Statibri. Anotokimo Sasori Karatasket Oite. Anata Boko Uta. The fuck? And Gren knew that the suitcase was a fucking bomb. あの、ルゴールを僕にくれたのは僕なら中を開けて調べたりしないと思ったから。通信機を見つけたが、見つけたのはジュリアだ。あなたからもらったと聞いて、ジュリアは気づいた。ああ、there's a Lynn, damn. Oh. Kono yoni shinjiru mono nado. Fuck, man. Yeah. That's bleak. Vicious. Omae mita ni asu mamotte inochi otoshita jya. Rin mo sukuare ne. Oh, we mad. Okay. Yamato. Oh no, 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 no. Ren. Oh shit. Nice. Good shot. Oh wait. I put it in the back. And. <gasps> Alright, Vicious, how are you gonna survive this one? It's not gonna. No. That's their dying wish, then. Anata ga Spike. Julia ga itsu mo hanashite ta. Hitomi no iro ga hitotsu zutsu chigau ute. They aren't that different. Itsu mo onaji kyoku wo request shite. Waratte ta yo. Kanashi so ni waratte ta. Damn, man. Tragic. Again, Spike doing the the right thing instead of getting the bounty. <laughs> because he could have just, you know, captured Gren instead. <laughs> Where did you all go? Oh yeah. Back to this. Right, getting that scene again, but now it's just in a different context, kind of, or at least, yeah, taking into consideration everything we just saw and learned. So this is Titan, where those two were sitting, looking at the stars, right? Different end credits as well. Very different from like many of the other episodes that we've gotten so far, I must say. Or at least these two episodes just felt more important to the overall story with um, with Spike and his past, and like, there's still a lot that 
they haven't told us yet, or they haven't told me yet. As I'm sure you guys already know because you've seen it. But it is interesting every time they, they do dive into his, his past a little bit and we get to know just a little bit more. Um, when it comes to Julia, that's still somewhat of a mystery. And we just know that, that Spike and her are connected and he wants to find her. But that's, uh, yeah, that's easier said than done. Um, she was on the planet there uh, a couple of years ago, but she was only there for a month or so. And she knew Gren and, and came there to, to hear them play play the, the sax in, in the bar and always wanted to hear the same song. Um, so yeah, definitely knew each other. Uh, Vicious also knows Julia and just like, to sort of use her or her name against Spike. Um, yeah, these are like heavy episodes and, and heavy on the on the information, but in a way where like they don't really tell you everything. They just show you some things and then a lot of it is just shrouded in mystery and like saying things but not doing it outright in the way where like you're not giving you again all of the information and it, it's it's leaving me not not confused but just i just I, I i want to know more and and i want to like really get it served to me in a way where it's like very easy to understand like the course of events and who's linked to whom and in what way uh, but but I, I I dig the way that they're doing it at least because it it makes you want more, want to know more about the characters, and I just also again like yeah I've mentioned it many times I just love how in this series every planet every city every character that we meet there's just so much there and it it just it feels so well thought out and, and lived in but also like very different um each time you know from story to story and from yep city to city planet to planet character to character it, it there's just a lot to it all um and i'm gonna have to to let this one sink in this one and and the last one these two episodes um maybe just without getting spoiled read a little bit up on events just so that I, you know, have the right information in my head um, because it, it was a bit difficult to discern some of the time, like with, with how they, they told, like how they delivered information. Um, and I guess like even just hearing myself talk here and I'm sure you listening to me talk here, like that just what I'm saying is, is just all over the place as well. Um, so that's just what's going on inside of my head right now. But at least, you know, when it comes to um, Vicious, again, did not see him die, did not see a body, just saw that his ship got shot and then he was heading towards a, a larger ship. Um, so yeah, he's going to survive. Someone who didn't survive was Lin, who uh, seemingly sacrificed himself to protect Vicious. Not because... He necessarily like really wanted to protect vicious but protect the the rules um and and i took that as to mean like that that was you know from that came from the the, the higher up so to say and like the hierarchy there and like so protecting that organization by protecting someone important inside of that organization um so so yeah he, he died there unfortunately Spike just hella mad, um, wanted to take out Vicious, but once again doing something that, that we've seen Spike do multiple times is that, you know, he's got a good heart and, and he wants to do the right thing. And, and more often than not, even though it means that, okay, we're maybe not going to make some money here, um, it's not going to be profitable, but I'm going to do the right thing. And he made sure that um, or he wanted to go and check up on Gren who crashed and and all they wanted was just to get back on the ship and just be pointed in the direction of, of Titan where uh, they were fighting 
in in some sort of war with vicious and they got really close there and that's when the whole little music thing box thing came in um into play and there was a transmitter inside of it um so so yeah vicious using it against gren and then later on in the story gren using it against vicious with putting some sort of like explosive inside of it and and that's what what got vicious um although didn't didn't kill him for sure uh, and 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 now um spike is is again back on the bebop uh, it is wondering like what the fuck is going on <laughs> where, where are you, all you guys going and and Faye staying there again um and and possibly realizing that I want to be around these people and, and they actually care for me. And like they do, all of them, like they care for each other on the Bebop and, and they want to make sure that, or everyone else, you know, that they're okay. And like Jed came to find Faye and, and sort of, well, rescued her. Um, so just coming to that realization that even though we bigger and it is um, complicated, the relationships here, and, and everybody's sort of a loner, but they are together here on the bebop. Um, and I, I like that theme, I guess you could call it, of all these lone wolves getting together to be a pack. And it, they are better together. And it's it's a good thing to care for someone and have someone to, to care for you as well. Um, so, yeah, coming to that realization, I'm sure that's, that's, that's only a good thing. Whew, yeah, I wouldn't want to live on that planet either. And I'm still confused about the whole, like, why are there no women there? But I'm sure there's there's more to it. And again, just when it comes to information, and I know, I know, like me just sitting here and rambling and trying to make sense of all of the facets inside of the story um, that, that can just sound like, yeah, I'm just rambling. Um, and again, please, please just let me know in the comments below um, what I'm missing and just make it, yeah, if if I sound like an idiot who and I'm not understanding anything, they just make it easier for me to understand, I guess. Um Yeah, it's 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 a it's very well told, um and, and there's some intricate storytelling going on, but I do appreciate it and I'm sure all of the things that I, I don't know about right now and I am somewhat somewhat confused about, especially in these episodes that are diving into Spike's past and, and having to do with Vicious and Julia. Like, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's all going to really make sense and you're going to get all the information later on. And I'm probably supposed to be sitting here like, wow, okay, so what is really going on and how are they linked and how, why is Julia so important to Spike? Um, and what really went down in the past other than, you know, just fragments of memories and like, quotes that we're getting throughout uh, that's going to point us in the right direction. Um, yeah, sure, they're going to let me know. Um, but again, yeah, I've, I've already said this multiple times, but if, if there's something that I'm missing that I should be knowing by now, then please tell me without spoilers. But yeah, that was a whole lot of talking gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching as always and um i'll see you very very soon or yeah now i'm doing it again see you space cowboy <laughs> there we go bye